Hi all, welcome back to another session on uh, web methods. So in this session, I wanted to show how uh, we can uh, install command central in uh, web methods. So, but in prior to that, let's understand what is command central. It is a tool generally used to enable or install patch all the components of uh, web methods. And even you can create database components and you can connect to the components and you can even connect to the uh, remote. Uh, if your servers are there in remote location, you can even connect that uh, using that. So using this and you can install the integration server, API gateway, universal messaging. You can create users. You can adjust all the settings in one place where you can and once everything is installed, you can even uh, club it based on uh, environments also, like say if you have production test and uh, pre prod So you can install the services and stack them up and then keep it as uh, separate, separate uh, servers. So let's see how we can install that. So for this purpose, I have logged into Empower uh, website. So once you are into Empower website, just go to software downloads. In the software downloads, click on the software download center. And select download here. And when you come down, you have Bootstrap. So the difference between software AG installer and this is like you have a bootstrapper file uh, coming in where it you need to run it at runtime using the command prompt and uh, invoke the bootstrapper, which will install all the fixes related to it and all. Whereas the software is installer, it's kind of a jar file where you select the components and uh, all those things. So just click on the bootstrapper. It will show you the list. I'm using Windows. Once you click on this, your downloads uh, will be done. So I have already downloaded it into my uh, local and it's in, in my installs, uh, install levels here. Yeah. So once that is done, what I need to do is I need to open my command prompt as administrator. This step is important. Remember, it should be opened as administrator and navigate to the path where this is present. So it is present in D drive. I'm going there. And then I'll run this command, which is, I'll explain that. It's to execute the bat file. And the path to install command central is this. And the password is the default password. I'm giving it as manage and I'm accepting the license. And then click enter. It will take a good amount of time to install everything. Uh, so now the command central got, uh, got up. And once I go to command central on 8090, is how the command central uh, looks like. So this is the command central page which shows you the installation stacks repository you can connect to. So in the repositories, you just need to give the add the repository, like say to connect the repository and uh, give the details here, like what would be the product release, latest release. And you need to add your Empower credentials. So how that can be added? Go to installations, CCE, command central server, configurations. And click on place here, username and password. Just give Empower and your credentials and everything. Confirm the password. 
you will have the repository ready and you also need to add the fixed repository also so once you add the uh, fixed repository uh, fixed repository details will be there and once that is done now we wanted to install the components in uh, web methods so let's say if you wanted to install integration server you need to have at least one spm running so i've installed uh, spm in my uh, laptop which is in sag4 so this has only the spm installed so i'll connect to this spm so how do you make a connection add and the host name is same thing so i'll just copy this and click on add next platform minister is already installed click everything is running on uh, i think it's running on the different one see which one it is running it is running on double two double two speak this if that doesn't work i'll go to double triple two three yeah credentials are default click next that contains a password so what i'll do i'll go to the instances cce command central configuration administrator read the password here so once that is done i'll proceed with the installations first is host name The platform manager is already installed. It's on photos. Next, now I give the password there so it will work. You can choose the environment, like say it is production development test. I'll leave it by default and click finish. So it is saying it is not yet connected. So let me just check and change it to double two three or something. Its name. Because in the previous I've checked the use SSL and SSL doesn't work on the HTTP port. I've selected HTTPS, so I'm just keeping it as is. Let's see. Yeah. Next, finish. So now it is trying to establish a connection. Command Central is trying to connect to the uh, SPM of IS. Now it has connected to the port triple two three. So now if I wanted to do the integration server installation, I'll just go to instances or even choose the products. It will show you what are the products present. Yeah. And just click on plus and it will ask me the repository. I didn't create any repository here. So you need to create the repositories here. And then once you select the repositories and click on OK, then it will connect in the background. It connects uh, using the Empower and downloads the products. And later on, you can install the products using Command Center. So this is how you install Command Center and install the products. Thank you.